Hey guys, welcome back. We are finally back working on the LS3. Today we are going to install bug wiper systems from Lamina Aerotech. We are here in the facility from Manfred Leonhard Berger. Manfred, can you tell us something about your aircraft service? Jo, hallo, ich darf euch begrüßen bei meiner kleinen Firma, äh, Firma Leontech, wo ich mir meinen Lebensraum erfüllt habe, dass ich bei Flugzeugen Reparaturen, Wartungen und Instandsetzungen durchführen kann. Uh, und freue mich sehr, dich kennenzulernen, Stefan. Und bin schon gespannt, wie der Einbau funktioniert. Und viel Spaß dann auch weiterhin mit dem Fliege. Danke. Super. Vielen Dank. And over there is Wolfgang Zimmermann, who is founder and CEO of Lamina Aerotech. Hi Stefan, nice to meet you. So I just founded uh, Lamina Aerotech in Vienna a couple of months ago. And I took over the heritage of the BWS bug wiper systems from Friedel Storker and Herbert Pirker, these guys invented bug wipers 40 years ago and now I am happy to take over and uh, let the heritage live and develop the system. I already used the bug wiper systems from you, the Flexi Putzer at the ASG29 as well and they work really good. But why is it so important to have bug wiper systems on um, high performance gliders? It's the best, easiest and cheapest way to improve the performance of your glider. So you can get about 10 to 15 percent more performance just by cleaning your wings regularly. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And especially here at um, some wing profiles it is more important to have bug wiper systems and here the LS3 is a glider where it's really important. So I will install the electric bug wiper system here so that I can more focus on flying the glider and not turning the winches by hand. We want you to focus on flying because we want you to win the world championships. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so that we can fly the world gliding championships this year in France. So let's get to work, let's install the bug wiper system. Nice glider. Yeah, Very it's nice. newly wrapped here <laughs> with my Stifly logo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Below it's still orange. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have all those parts which are included in the kit. We have the bug wiper wings, the main part, then the electrical motors, two of them, one for the left, one for the right side. And we have some cables, uh, then the circuit breaker, it's a 10 amps Klikson circuit breaker. Over there are some smaller parts and those switches here. And then we have um, the cables to connect the switch to the motor. Let's get to the glider. Let's drill the holes uh, and install the bug wipers. The first step is to drill a hole and the hole will be below the swing somewhere over here. And to choose the correct hole or position where to um, drill the hole, we have here the manual. The LS3 is somehow similar to the LS4 fuselage, so we can um, choose the LS4 here. And um, there you can see in which position you should drill the hole. Okay, which one is it? I think that is cool. professional tools to cut a uh, mylar tape. <laughs> Here at the wing to fuselage connection um, you can use a small piece of mylar tape so that the bug wiper will get out all the time. Now we take the pencil 
and mark the hole here. Um, I will try to push it as much up as possible and then let's hope that it will. Yeah, and now you can see the point here. That's where we need to drill the hole. We take the motors and have a look where to install them in the fuselage. What's really important is to get a proper position, a perfect position for the motors. Um, you really want to reduce the friction in the line guide. The best is if it's just straight out of the motor, out of the wing. So we will try to find a position where we can just install it like this. And I think I have here a good solution. Yeah, I think that's, that's the best position. And then behind the electrical motors, I will install two batteries. Now we are going to install the switches here. As you can see, it's really difficult to find a proper place. I made a small stencil so that I can have a look where it will fit. I also need to disassemble this um, barometer. Now we are going to make the electric wiring. We have the switches over here. So we have two data cables and we need the power supply. So we will disassemble all parts over here. We are finished with the electric wiring here directly at the motors. We have a Y cable and now it's time to route the wires from the back side of the fuselage to the panel. I've already prepared the circuit breaker and installed it in the panel, so I only need to crimp some contacts directly onto this quick connector here. That's it with the power supply. Then over here Wolfgang is crimping the RJ11 connectors, which are necessary to connect the switches to the motors. So this is the mounting support and there are three possibilities um, to mount the motors. You can mount it like this, you can mount it over here or over there. In my case I think I will mount it this way. Okay. 
Schlüsselchen. Stopp. Ja, Bolzen kann man auch stecken. Also, es dehnt sich ja auch ein bisschen. Mein ja. Wohlfühlgefühl endet hier. <lacht> okay. Das ist dein Mut. <lacht> ja. Das wäre hier. Da und dann kommt jetzt, aber noch der Knoten auch genau, hin. Da könnten wir, und es gehört ja dann noch eine, die Schlaufe bis hierher, wir könnten hier eine Markierung machen mit dem Edding. Ja. Wolfgang? Okay. Yes? <lacht> okay. Yeah. So this end of the nylon lines is not fixed yet. It is still open and flexible so that you can adjust the, the flexi profile. wiper to your wing profile. We drive the bug wiper All the, way, all the way to the fuselage and then we pull the nylon very tight. So, okay. So that the bug wiper is really tight on the wing surface. Okay, and this is our position. Because it could also happen that you have a wing which is way bigger. Yeah. And then you had, would have to open it. Okay, this is nice. We use this and now we have to... Can I help this? <laughs> yes, you could put a knot in here and now another five knots. Five, okay. Yeah, it looks quite okay, huh? Passed. Passed. Okay. So, bleibt noch die Frage nach den Kippwinkeln. Genau. Bin ich gespannt, wie er dann liegt. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's better. What do you think, Wolfgang? No, it looks nice. Ja. Uh -huh. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you compare this side to this side. Here's a big gap. Looks great. I can't wait to fly with this <laughs> LS3 for the first time. Let's hope that it will be in about two weeks. I'm a little bit tired now. It was a long drive this morning, but finally we managed to install it. It works properly on the ground. We will see if it works in the air, but I'm really optimistic. So stay tuned for my first flight with this system. Thank you so much and see you next time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.